as a result of this, you're no longer foreigners. You're no longer foreigners. And you're no longer strangers. But you're fellow citizens with God's people. Do you see how you have changed from what you used to be back up in verse 12? You see, what he's saying now in this verse, it's a contrast to what he said you were in verse 12. And the only way you could have done this was by the power of God. Your fellow citizens with God's people and members of his household, you're part of his family built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. Check out the new series, Hymns of Hope on Praise and Harmony TV today. In this six-part series, Jeff Walling takes us on a journey through studying the Psalms and how they integrate with our modern worship. Not about the songs that were written maybe in the last hundred years or even in the last thousand years. No, we're going to reach back more than 2,000 years to Israel's hymnal, their hymnal of hope. Enjoy timeless stories about how we got some of our most beloved songs. When finally the telegram came through, and it's a famous one, it just had two words on it. The words came from Horatio Spafford's wife. And the two words were, saved, alone. And sing along with the praise and harmony singers. Check out Hymns of Hope on Praise and Harmony TV today.